Hey guys, welcome back to another layout update. Um, I know it's been uh, a couple weeks since I posted a video, but uh, I, I kind of stopped making videos till I was sure what I wanted to do, and I was just frustrating myself. And you know, you guys had some great ideas, but ultimately nothing really like sunk in for a while uh, of what I wanted to do with the layout, and I, I finally come up with what I want to do for me. What I will enjoy, it, uh, the layout plan I come up with will incorporate everything that I want in a layout. Um, and ultimately, you know, you guys were all right. You know, it, I'm the one that has to enjoy it. So, uh, regardless of you know, you know, someone else might have an idea that suits them better, but ultimately, it comes down to to what what I want in the layout and. Uh, you guys were right, and that's, I finally just, I took that and rolled with it, you know, and, and come up with something that, that I know I want. Um, so let me uh, show you a little bit uh, what I've been up to, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we are, we're back. Uh, as you can see, I already started uh, tearing down a lot of the layout in preparation for the larger layout project um, I put so much time and and work and, and everything in the the backdrop area there that that's something I'm not changing you know whatever I decided to do was gonna have to incorporate that because I wasn't ripping that down uh, so basically the whole back area right there of the layouts gonna stay the same um, as you can see there used to be a yard area right here it's now gone uh, one of the modulars I already took it out um, a lot of the track has been removed road beds been removed uh, this back here is probably where I'm gonna tie in for the new plan uh, so that should be good to go right there uh, I still need to tear out all this track here yet uh, this line here, I'm going to take it out and rerun a new one from this cross crossover uh, to go that way. This middle line is going to be removed completely and not replaced. I still have to do that yet. Um, this turnout will come out and I'm just going to piece a straight piece in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to relay all this outside curve. So basically, it's going to follow the same the same route till right around there and then it's going to branch like turn and head onto the the expansion part uh, so I got to take that out yet and like I said I don't know whether I can piece it piece in it, it right into that like right in here somewhere or if I'm gonna have to relay everything I might have to relay everything because that I have that super elevated and for it to go from that turn into a straight and 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 in a turn in the opposite direction I think I'm gonna run into problems so I might be better off just ripping that all up and just relaying it I tried to salvage as much of my flex track as I could but unfortunately a lot of it um, it was I glued everything down and it was hard to get off the road bed without uh, basically ruining it I did salvage some of it but not as much as I would have liked. I did salvage my turnouts because I purposely did not glue them down in case I had to, to uh, change them. I didn't even solder the joints on them. So those were easy to remove and I will be reusing some of those. Um, but here we go. I got the bench work built around here. And yesterday I installed my lights. So now I have better lighting over there. Uh, pretty much have all the lighting dealt with um, yeah I'll show you show you the track plan that I come up with um, there's my lift out section but anyways let's glance at my track plan see if this makes any sense there we go get a good look at it um, right there's the lift out section which is right here uh, so I got the coal mine up here 
I uh, moved my yard over here. I wanted a turntable in this plan, so there's my turntable. It's a 90 foot turntable, which will accommodate everything except my DDA 40X. Uh, my engine facility will go right here. Uh, I got some fueling, uh, fueling stuff that I'll use all right in that area too. Uh, my plastic pellet facility, I already have that not built yet. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to uh, do some sort of oil facility here so I can fill tanker cars. Uh, I don't have anything for that yet. Uh, my lumber facility is going to go here. Or I just bought that. That's a new purchase. I'll show you guys. Um, my power plant's going to go here. And I'm going to probably uh, buy like a cheap pike stuff building as a run through here. This is going to be the run through to unload my coal, my coal cars. And I'm going to basically build a f facility here that uh, houses a rotary dumper. Um, of course, I don't have one, but. Hey, all I have to do is tell you there's one in there. Uh, so that's how my coal cars will be unloaded for the power plant, which the coal will come from the coal facility. Uh, and then uh, I have this uh, turnout here coming into, and this will be my rail truck transfer facility. And it'll probably be some uh, residential area right in here. So that's my plan there. I have... Uh, the main line branches right here and comes around here. I don't know whether to keep that, just call that the main line or one of these in here a main line. But I threw that in there and right now uh, that's what I'm going to do with that. But that leaves me the opportunity later if I want to change something and maybe put some more industrial switching or something like that. Um, that area, that, that piece comes around here and turns and goes along this wall. So I could put like a... Uh, like the background buildings uh, in there and have a couple switching opportunities. That could be some something in the future if I want to change this, but right now I'm going with what I have here. Uh, but that's it. Um, mostly everything's 28 inch radius. Um, there's some 26 and there might be a 24 somewhere, uh, but I, I don't think I got down to 24 inch radius. All the turnouts are number sixes. Um, most of them will be microengineering. Uh, thank you, Mike Jensen, for uh, for recommending them. Uh, I ordered a couple of them to see how they how they are, and I actually have about ten more of them coming yet. Uh, they're in the mail right now. Uh, I will need more than that yet, but I bought enough of everything that I can at least run all my main lines around. I probably won't have a lot of the yard done uh, right now, but I can get get basically my my main lines and my industrial my yeah my industrial switching and everything set up. Uh, that way, you know, I can still run trains until I basically get the funds to to complete it. Um, that's the plan. All my train station is going to go up here. I do have that not built yet. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's the plan I come up with. And now everything is open. And up here, the coal facility, I'm going to leave that extension come off of there for the run through tracks that I, I mentioned in one of my previous videos. That's going to stay there. Uh, there's the, one of the modules I took out. I didn't know what to do with it. So I, I put it there for now, and I, I'm thinking I hung that light right there. I think I might just use that as my uh, workbench. I got a stole. I'm just going to throw the stole there, and I can, I can do my work. You know, buildings and working on things and and everything. So that I think that's going to be my workbench area. Um, like I said, I still have a lot more work to go, a lot more work to do yet. Um, but I finally got started on something. I come up with a plan I like, and I'm I'm going to go with it. You know, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um. Let me show you how what I did with my lift out quick. I know this is going to be a long video, but I haven't had one in a couple weeks, so you guys are just going to have to live with it. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. All right, here's the lift out section, and I didn't know how to do it to keep it stable. 
But for the most part, I'm probably just going to duck under it anyways. Uh, I got plenty of room to duck under it. Uh, it will only be removed if I really need to remove it for some reason. Or if I still have this layout when I get old and I can't bend over anymore. Uh -huh. But I used these. Picked up four of them. We have two on each side. I just drilled a quarter inch, so I just drilled quarter inch holes. And they are very snug. Hopefully they stay that way. All I gotta do is pull all them out. Lift straight up. As you can see. Uh, I mean, there's my quarter inch holes. And it's just, I just put a simple piece of wood here that that rests on. Um, let me see. My plan is to, I bought, I have four of these mini uh, push button uh, switches, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use, put two on each side. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a um, isolated spot of track on on uh, this side of the layout and th or this side of the lift out and on this side of the lift out. And when I lift that out, what it'll do is it'll cut power to those isolated sections. That way, if I have it out and I forget about it and I'm running a train, it doesn't take the uh, plunge of death down into the concrete canyon it will stop before that so I still have to do that yet but that's another plan I did purchase the Walton Walton and Sons lumber facility that's gonna be my lumber facility I got the got the diesel house I wanted got lots of projects I think I mentioned my power plant in the other video have that to put together yet Oh, I got plenty of projects. There's my microengineering uh, turnouts. They're already, they're pre uh, pre sprung or whatever. They have the they have the uh, I guess that's what you call them, pre sprung. So I don't have to worry about any uh, Caboose Industries uh, manual ground throws or anything. Um, and also, real quick, uh, I have I think eight of the uh, Atlas Code 83 snap switches. They are weathered some just from uh, some of the spray paint that I used in my weathering videos. I just use Rust-Oleum spray paint. Um, but I, these hardly were used at all in my old, old layout. Um, I have them. They all work. The only thing I did was uh, I cut I cut the little manual stem off because uh, some of my locomotives snow plows kept hitting them um, but I have eight of them uh, I don't know how many left or rights I have I'd have to go through the box but there's eight of them and I have some 18 inch radius curve from my old layout it's also painted uh, a lot of its still good should still be salvageable um, I'm not sure I did I have a lot of them soldered together so um, if you can get the, the rail joiners off, but if anybody would, could use them, let me know. You can have them. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I think this video has been long enough. So, uh, hey, I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, hopefully I can get started on this pretty quick and moving along. Uh, I guess I still got to put this corner piece here yet. But anyways, I got a lot to do yet. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. This is where I'm at. Uh, hope you guys are uh, enjoying your uh, model railroading, and I'll talk to you on the next video.